Hello, I'm Simon from Canvas GFX. Welcome to Canvas. I'm very happy to walk you through Canvas X Draw by giving you a tour of our welcome file that comes with Canvas. You can follow along and edit this same interactive file. If you don't already have Canvas X Draw, get a free trial in the link below. Canvas lets you work with any type of graphic in one application. No need to switch between different applications based on the file type. In one place, you can create amazing graphics and visualizations with both images and vector objects. Notice, this image on the left is a rasterized image, meaning it's made of pixels. On the right is a vector object with sharp edges and adjustable points. The Canvas interface presents all the tools and assistance you may need with settings and functionality to suit your workflow. First, this is the layout area. This is where you create your fantastic graphics and illustrations. We refer to all of the elements in your documents as objects. This is an object, this is an object, and so on. Our toolbox has all of the Canvas tools for creating and editing. The menu bar along the top contains all Canvas functions. The toolbar contains all common actions like copy, paste, and print. The properties bar updates based on the tool you have selected. Notice the Canvas Assistant updates as well based on what you have selected to help you along with what you're doing. Along the bottom is the status bar showing details about the object you have selected and pages of your document. We call all the small windows in Canvas palettes. They're all available in Window Palettes. On the top is the docking bar where you can keep frequently used palettes for quick retrieval. Notice, you can tear off any palette you want to keep in view by dragging it away from the docking bar. Also, you can put away any palette to bring it back easily. The docking pane on the right has some of the more common palettes. There are three states for selected objects in Canvas. Right now, nothing is selected. If I click on this circle, it becomes selected. When it's selected, you can change its properties in the properties bar. Click somewhere else or press escape to deselect. If I double click an object, I'm editing that object. You can tell from the pen in the top left. In edit mode, I can modify the object. Double click somewhere else or press escape to go back to the selected state and then again to deselect completely. Ordering objects in view is done by selecting your object and clicking shuffle up or shuffle down. Let's watch how this works in the document layout palette. Alignment lets you align your objects as you like. First, I'll click each of these objects while holding shift. Alternatively, I can draw a selection rectangle around these three objects. Using the alignment tools, I can align center vertically. I'll undo that. And I can align center horizontally. Notice the object that I selected first has black indicators on its selection. That means all the alignment commands are with respect to that object. Text in Canvas is very simple. First, select the text tool, set some properties, draw a rectangle for your text, and just start typing. You can always select your object and adjust the styling and attributes for your text in the properties bar. Spell checking is built in. Just right click on red underlined words and choose the correct spelling. Copying and pasting attributes lets you select and copy the styling you want and choose Edit Paste Attributes to paste the style. I'll copy over the text style and dynamic effect, which is a drop shadow. This concept can be applied to any object for copying and pasting any attributes. This picture on the right has another picture below it. I'll select this top image and change the opacity, and I'll add an adjustment with a higher contrast. Please try this yourself. In the bottom, Let's try adjusting the levels of this great photo to match the one on the right. We'll select it and choose Image Adjust Levels. This photo doesn't have any pure blacks or whites, so let's set the starting black point by dragging it to the right and set the white point by dragging it to the left. Add images to your documents by simply dragging and dropping them into Canvas or choose File Place. Converting objects from vector to raster is just a matter of saving your document to the appropriate format with File Save As. This will give you options for rendering your image to the appropriate size and resolution. However, converting from raster to vector 
requires some complex calculations that happen behind the scenes of our auto trace tool. Let me zoom in on this object to show it's made of pixels. This is a raster object. With it selected, I'll choose Image, Auto Trace. This includes various settings for the white point, the dark points, and types of vector objects that this will create. I'm just going to use the defaults, and this will create a black and white vector drawing. I'll zoom in to show you this new vector object. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. In the help menu, you'll find all sorts of links to get more information. Please see our other videos to learn more about using Canvas. From all of us at Canvas GFX, thanks for watching.